Hello fellow nerds, in today's video we are going to learn about how to make a part that isn't fitting fit. So this is assuming you downloaded a model and you want to get it to fit onto another part and it's not working out. So first thing you want to make sure your tolerances are all correct, but let's just say you are, the model's still off, you have a couple options. You can scale, you can also um, put a uh, screw hole in it. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to scale really quick and then after that we're going to go ahead and add a negative part to make a hole to uh, put an M3 screw into. So to start I'll give you a little background. Shout out Lazy Code. Uh, Lazy Code is having a little issue with getting this part to fit onto this uh, other part right here. So it's supposed to like clip onto it. So the first thing I'd recommend is trying to scale it. You can do that a couple ways. The first way is just click scale. And if you want to um, shrink it in only one direction, which I recommend because the other direction, if say this is fitting, you only want to go one direction. So let's just say you want to go in the X, you want to make sure to unclick uniform scaling. And then you can change the size here. So you can either change it in millimeters or in percentages. And if I was just eyeballing it, I'd, if it was like close, I'd say like 98. Okay, you could do that. Another option is if you have some calipers and you measured it. And so let's say you know this distance right here is, I think, 53 millimeters. You could go ahead and click the little caliper tool. This is to measure. And then you click right here. And you click on the other side. And so it, it's saying, oh, it's 55. You say edit. And then you click in here, 53, enter. And that actually scales it to that exact dimension for you. Say you print it, still not fitting. Uh, maybe it's something with the geometry where it's like wider around here. So you need to have a screw or something to like hold it in place. So now we will add a negative part to make a screw hole. So we're gonna escape out of the measurements and we are gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna align this so that I can add that a single negative part that spans the distance just to make it fast. So let's rotate and we want to rotate in this direction. And sometimes you, your rotations won't be perfect. So like right there, um, that look okay let's see so we want to rotate on the X let's see, you can go 90 no rotate 180. oh I guess we want to go on the Y and then ah, oh, it's too okay there we go so Y 90 perfect you see how it's laying flat and now we want to put the screw hole in it. So we want it probably right there and right there. So we're going to right click, click add negative part, and then we're going to click cylinder. We're going to get the cylinder exactly the size we want it. So we want it to be 2.85. And I got that measurement just by measuring an M3 screw and then like taking a little away to assume that there's threads. You're gonna have to maybe play with this a little bit to get your exact measurement because of tolerances. Um, but I think 2.85 is a pretty good start. So let's change the size of this negative part. And we do that in scaling. And you can put, I'm gonna do uniform for now. And then I'm going to raise the height of it. So let's just say 2.85 and it's going to be real tiny. Let's zoom in there. And we're going to click on it and we are going to scale and we're going to make the Y bigger. Okay, so as you can see it's going through the through the build plate. Let's see, there you go. So now you can move it and that's pulling it far away. So let's go ahead and move it 
you can click here, move it up. And it looks like it's not big enough, so now we can scale again. And this is just like going to be like a lot of playing with it um, to get it right. Um, so we want to scale again. We're going to make it bigger. We can make it way bigger. And then we want to move it right into the spot we want it. And I'm sorry about the noise, we're watching Wednesday Adams. Sometimes for videos I like to like, you know, make sure it's nice and quiet. But for this one, I'm just trying to help a homie out. And I think it's okay. It's okay that we are enjoying the Adams family. If you hate it, let me know in the comments. I, I'll try to move into a bigger house with soundproofing. Okay, so... For me, this probably would make sense right there. Negative part. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me check. Let's just do a once over. Because I am going to send the 3MF as well as when I'm done so that Lazy Code can just print this. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm going to delete this other part out of there. I believe that's already ready to go. So if we did this right, basically what should happen is we have a hole right here and a hole right here and then an M3 bolt can be added just to make it a little bit tighter. Um, in my opinion, you also you could you could move it over here um, if you want. I don't know. I, either way uh, could work. It might kind of start spreading it out a little bit, but let me know how this goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and slice it. And now if you look, there's a hole right there. Perfect, beautiful, okay. And if you wanted, like say, um, you can, I think, let's see if you can export it. Let's see, export as one STL. We'll put it in our downloads with screw hole. Save. And then I'm also going to export it as a 3MS, 3MF. Let's see how that goes. With holes. Okay. So now let's go ahead and delete this. And we'll just make sure that our version are going to look good for lazy code. Let's go here, brackets with holes. Okay, so now if lazy code gets this image, he can go ahead and say, oh, actually, no, I want it to be over here. Slice plate. There we go. You get your hole wherever you want it. Um, for example, let's say that doesn't work out and it's too tight, like, um, it's too tight. So what you can do is you could go import, let's find it again. You can take this, you can actually move this piece right here or wherever you could even leave it. And let's just say it's perfect, but it's it's too uh, tight and you need a little more room to get your nut or say your nuts like an M4. So what you can actually do is you're on that negative part so you can just click your scale and then you don't want uniform and you want to do it in the X and Y. So you'd want to change this. Let's just pretend it's a little bit, tiny bit too, too small. So you could go 2.9 and then that's gonna kind of make it like an oval shape a little bit but you can make the Y at 2.92. And then you can go ahead and slice and now this hole is gonna be a little bit bigger. And then you just hit print, send it off to your printer and there you go, you got holes in your model. You don't have to make a whole new model, it's super easy, you can do it in the slicer. You are very welcome, Lazy Code. If you are into 3D printing and you uh, want any advice or help or want to give me some advice or I don't know want to see uh, an Explorer IQEX being built consider subscribing 
I, I am very into 3D printing and tech and all sorts of nerdy stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.